I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World, and this cute otter is the new pattern in the Funny Faces Quilt Block of the Month Club. So when I say it's the current pattern, it is right now, February 1st, 2024, and if you're in the club, you should have already received an email with a link to download the pattern. If you join the club anytime in the month of February, 2024, this is the pattern that you're going to get instantly. And if you're seeing this video and it's way later than February, 2024, you can go to shinyhappyworld.com and just find this in the pattern section of the shop. Here's how to make it. Okay, this is the video showing you how to put together the otter if you do not have or don't like to use a light box. I have found it to be the best tool I have ever purchased. So um, I just love them but it's totally doable without one. So I have taken all of the pieces and prepared them. That means I've cut them out on the solid lines and I've transferred all of these other lines from the paper side of the pattern to the fabric side. So the dotted lines are all placement guides telling you where applique pieces are going and these solid lines inside the pattern are stitching lines. So I have transferred those just with a simple black Sharpie and um, it's fine that this is permanent because I'm gonna stitch over those lines with black thread and you will never see the black marker hiding underneath it. So we are gonna start with the neck piece. So I am laying this out what I call snapshot style. And that is I am imagining that I have snapped a photo of an otter and I zoomed way in on its face. So he has more body, it's just not showing in the picture. And to get that look, I'm gonna take this straight edge and I'm gonna line that up with the raw edge at the bottom of my block. And then when I sew the pieces together, that will get embedded in the seam allowance and so it will have that illusion of he is just cropped out of the photo. So that's the piece that we're starting with. If you decide to make yours what I call emoji style, just a head floating in the middle of the block, just leave the neck piece off. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is place the muzzle or snout, I'm not sure what you call it with an otter. So that, I'm gonna use that line that I transferred. As soon as I cover that line, I know I have a good amount of overlap. And these whiskers are also very helpful because I can just line up the whisker lines and know that I've got those are continuous. So there's a little bit of mouth that I'm going to tuck in underneath this. So I'm just gonna tuck it under. And again, as soon as I've covered up the lines that I transferred onto that piece, I've got enough overlap and that is good. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing with the head. We are gonna tuck that behind the snout, the muzzle, the nose. So all of these fabrics are uh, from a new color palette that I've put together that I call Sea Breeze. It's all inspired by beachy kind of colors. So this background block is surf blue and all of the otter pieces are what I call driftwood. It's kind of a taupey grayish weathered brown. All right, so I have tucked that under and covered up the lines, and also I've got some little whisker lines that are continued there, so that's good. Now I've got some ear pieces. So these will tuck behind the head, and if you're not sure which one goes where, you can kind of tell when you put it in there, things look wrong, but if you want to be sure, there is a placement guide that comes with the pattern, and all of the pieces are numbered so that you know that, for example, ear number two is the one that goes on the left side of the head. So we're gonna pop these into place. And again, just cover up that line and we are good. Now he's got a great big kissable nose. I feel like the noses on the animals I draw just keep getting bigger and bigger. But they're just adorable. And now he also has really big eyes. So on this one, I am gonna stitch the eyelashes, but the eyelashes are optional. So if you don't wanna stitch the eyelashes, just don't transfer them. I'm gonna show you at the end of this video, one where it'll, it'll include uh, one where I did not stitch the eyelashes. So you can see what that looks like. All right, so I've got all the pieces in place. Now I'm going to carefully carry this over to 
the, my ironing board and fuse everything in place. Just follow the directions on whatever brand of fusible adhesive you use. I use heat and bond light in all of my quilts. Then I am going to take it to my sewing machine and do all of that outline stitching. And then I'll bring it back here and show you the finished otter and also show you a couple of other color variations that I made. All right, this is the finished otter block. So this is a version of the block where I added some water along the bottom. And these little waves are a free pattern that you can get at shinyhappyworld.com. There's a link to download that, to, to get to that free pattern in the pattern for the otter. You can use it or you don't need to use it or you can use it for a whole bunch of other things. But the water is separate from the pattern and free. And here is one of the finished otter blocks. So this is one that I made with a brown face and kind of a light brown, um, I'm sorry, a brown head and ears and a lighter brown muzzle and neck, which is very, very common to see in otters. But I've got a couple of other color combinations that I did. So with this version, I did not do the waves. And this one is, again, a darker top of the head and a lighter further down. But this one is all done in kind of a taupe gray. This is um, actually the Driftwood Blenders from the Seabreeze collection. And you'll notice one other thing that's different with that this one, and that's that I added the eyelashes. So if, you, uh, if you'll remember in the video when we were talking about making it, I said that you can either stitch them or ignore them. This is one where I decided to stitch them. And I have one more color option. And this is another very common color that you see both in river otters and in sea otters. And that is a darker brown top of the head and the lighter, the lighter part, instead of being brown, uh, tan, like that first one that I showed you, can shift towards kind of a gray shading. So that's what I did with this one. So that is how you put together the otter block. Again, this is the February 2024 pattern in the Funny Faces Quilt Block of the Month Club. I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World and I'll see you next time.